Hello and welcome back to the last episode of my playthrough of Pokemon Let's Go Eevee. Uh, and you might be wondering, this is not red. I mean, this girl is dressed in red. But this is not Trainer Red, and that's because before getting to fight Pokemon Trainer Red, you have to defeat at least six of these trainers who have a Pokemon thingy right on top of their head. It means they're a master trainer and they specialize in that Pokemon. And in order to get to fight them, what you have to do is you have to have the Pokemon in question in your party and they have to be at the front of your party. As you can see, Billy's level 99. I've done a lot of, <laughs> a lot of training because these trainers are really, really powerful. So, today we're going to first fight the Clefairy Master and afterwards I have beaten 5 other Master Trainers so we can just go straight to Red after this. My goal is to find the ultimate Clefairy. Hey, your Clefairy looks pretty strong. Can I battle her with my Clefairy, please? Well, since you ask so nicely, of course. Let's see which is the stronger Clefairy. Yeah, that's a, that's a good question, even though we have a level advantage. <laughs> Hopefully we can be beat last shell. I believe that's how you would pronounce her name. I actually like how the red clothing looks on them. It's a, it's a nice like contrast to the, the green that you usually see all these trainers dressed in. And here she has a level 70 Clefairy versus our Clefairy. Now, her Clefairy only knows two moves. It knows Sing and Metronome. So what I'm thinking is we're gonna lower this thing's accuracy a bit. Hopefully it's not gonna put us to sleep. Not accuracy, what am I talking about? I'm gonna lower its HP, and then I'm gonna try to beat it with a metronome. Because at the end of the day, this is a metronome battle, and thank goodness for all the hearts that Billy's giving me right now, that means that we're not gonna be uh, going to sleep anytime soon, hopefully. Okay. Ooh, we got a crit hit as well. Hmm. Hmm, these, these... Oh, okay, but we're also gonna go to sleep. <laughs> well, there goes that. Alright, so from here on in... Oh, it shook itself awake! Oh! It's like when you're trying to fall asleep but you can't. Alright, let's see if we can finish this off with a metronome. Since it's already in the red. And we just woke ourselves up. And it's gonna use explosion. Oh no! This is the worst move to use... No! This is... What, what happens when you tie? I guess that's the real question. What happens when you... Oh my gosh. Crit hit, wishing to be praised, the opposing Clefairy fainted. What happens when you tie with the Master Trainer? What? Hehe, <laughs> I knew Clefairy was- No! <laughs> Heck, I guess that counts as a loss. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> Game! Is this a joke to you? <laughs> Why? Why would you do this? It also automatically heals your Pokemon after the battle, so you don't have to actually rush to Pokemon Center. But you gotta be kidding me! <laughs> it went for an explosion, and I guess with an explosion, even though the enemy Pokemon gets knocked out first, um, you still get knocked out, and if you get knocked out, then you lose. Whatever game. Wow. Just, just wow. If you thought getting bamboozled was bad, oh, and they're, they're gonna go for- how about you explode? Huh? No, it's gonna minimize, it's gonna- <sighs> You know what? This is- this is a- this is one way to end the, the series, end it with a bang, uh, but we still need to win. <laughs> nice little Poshi strikes too, she's like, yeah! Dizzy punch, okay, now we're gonna get confused, I suppose? Nope, okay. It's back in the red, it's paralyzed, we're gonna go for a metronome as well. Hopefully it's not gonna... <laughs> Watch it be self-destruct. I'm gonna cry if it's self-destruct. Okay, teleport. Uh, but you cannot... Actually, you can run away from the master battles. There, there is a run option. And it won't let you flee, but there's no items. That's I guess that's the one change. For, between these and other trainer battles. You can actually run from these. Uh, okay. We used rage, but our attack missed. Because it had that evasiveness boost on it. Now I'm afraid to use Metronome. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, come on. Be some lick. We're gonna lick it. Would that be enough to defeat it? Nope. Okay. <laughs> oh boy. Why, why am I doing Metronome battles? <laughs> what has this series become? And why is my phone ringing? 
It just rained once. Oh, never mind. Okay. Okay, phone. I wish I could pause the game. I realized I could just pl press the home button. Oh my gosh, Billy Flowers. Flowers. What? <laughs> Flu. Flies. Flued? Flowers. Flowers is the new word of the day. And we beat her. <laughs> with, with a flying Clefairy. That's the wings it got on its back. That's what they do. Alright, Clefairy is way stronger. I think you deserve to be called a Clefairy Master. Alright. So, you got ourselves a Clefairy Master title, and you might be wondering, what the floop does a Clefairy Master title mean? And for that reason, editing magic! Uh, we're here in the Celadon condominiums. It was a spam call. Welcome, Clefairy Master, or would you like me to call you a different title? Yeah. So this is where you can change your, uh, and you can see which Pokemon I beat it for. <laughs> Farfetch'd, you can pick whichever. Pokemon you like, but since we are using Clefairy throughout this whole thing, I'm gonna stick to Clefairy Master. If you do want to change your title, this is where you come, and it's in it's in the offices. I did this in the <laughs> who was the initial starter, so I figure this is a nice way to end it. The way we started the series is talk about what could have happened and the Pokemon we could have had as a starter. And here here it is. We have mastered Clefairies officially, and there is only one other thing left to do. Which is to make our Clefairy fly us to Victory Route. Why is this such a long black screen? But instead of Clefairy, it's gonna have to be Eevee. What? Uh, Luna remembered a tough time and became irritated. You mean when, when spam callers are calling me? <laughs> and interrupting perfectly good recordings so I have to use editing magic? Yes. Yes, th those are very tough times, Luna, and I agree with you. They are quite tough. <laughs> Alright, and here we are at the Indigo Plateau, and you think, oh, where's Red? Oh, there he is. You see him? There's Red, but before we fight Red... <laughs> because, but wait, there's more. There's one couple other things I want to show off. Uh, first of all, we, we're broke. Um, but you can sell items you have collected, like a health candy. You don't need this many health candy. It actually max out. Um, but you can chain Pokemon and you get all these basically candies that you can sell and they're all the same price it doesn't matter if it's small or large well wow, that's that's really disappointing um oh great do i not have the golden berries anymore all right i'm just gonna have to sell off the the silver versions as well you can collect these at the cerulean cave i'm trying to build up to basically uh 50 not 50 30 thousand pokey dollars because you're gonna need that money for something Let's get rid of all this mighty candy. We, m we might not need any more of these. Um, that's all we're gonna sell. And we're not gonna go fight the Elite Four. Uh, no, we're not even gonna heal. There, there's this dude, the weird slowpoke dude. You talk to him. Ah, you're the ch ch champion. I'm so thrilled that you talk to me. I, I sell rare stones. I sell mega awesome stones that I bought overseas and I'll sell them to you. For the lowest price possible, ch ch champion. Alright, so he has a bunch of Mega Stones, and uh, I don't know who to Mega Evolve, but I'm gonna go with Pinsir, since that one actually changes um, Pinsir's typing. It goes from just a Bug type to a Flying and Bug type, and I think that might be useful in the battle against Red. Alright, and we cannot afford any of the other stones, because we're, we're broke. <laughs> but that doesn't matter, because all we have to do is beat Red. Uh, that's it. So, here's Red, and... The way I'm gonna do this fight is, I'll explain it, let's just start, da 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 He looked at you, and ready to Pokeball. Do you want to battle him? Of course. And here is the final battle. Uh, of course you can go and re-battle all the gym leaders, you can battle Elite Four, there's a whole bunch of daily events, but this is like the main final story thing. And Red's gonna start out with the signature Pikachu, the supposed- I wonder what happened to Blue's Eevee? Like, how come we did not see Blue's Eevee in this entire game? Just, his Eevee's gone. What happened to it? Oh, ooh, well, Iron Turn would have done a lot of damage. Okay, so here's the thing. All I have to do is every time I knock out his Pokemon, I have to switch out. So that way I can't just swipe, sweep his team with Billy. I actually have to switch out. Uh, I did not read what he's sending out next, so I'm just gonna go for Namiya. <laughs> Because I know we have a fake out. At the very least, we can hit it with a fake out. Whatever it is. I probably should have read that instead of just talked over it. <laughs> oh, he's gonna go for Machamp. Well, this is a bad matchup, but... Might have to stick with it. Might have to stick with it. 
Alright, so I'm gonna go for a fake out. And he flinched, but that did not do much damage. And then we're just gonna go for Brick Break. Something tells me Nami might get knocked out. And, oh boy. This is the thing I was talking about. I don't wanna just switch out. I actually wanna make this a bit of a tough fight. So if you cannot switch out and... Okay, his defense fell. So that's gonna give us a bit of an advantage since we do hit first. Uh, but not enough. Okay. And he's gonna knock us out. Alright, so Namiya goes down in this fight, sadly. But th thank you for all your help, Namiya, as they say in the Pokemon anime. Thank you so much. Alright, and we're just gonna go back to Billy and then we're gonna have to switch Billy out. But this time I'm gonna read who he's sending out next so I don't do something dumb. <laughs> like I already did once, but we're not gonna do it again. Alright, we're gonna go first and I'm pretty confident Billy can just take out his whole team. But I wanna show off our team as well. It's not fair to just be like, hey look, we have a level 99 Clefairy that's, that's AV trained and everything and you can just destroy it. Alright, he's gonna go for an Arcanine. It only makes sense to send out Artemis. Even though Artemis is also part Ice type. Which means Arcanine can do quite a bit of damage to us. And it is faster, and it's a supposed quasi legendary Pokemon. Quasi? Quasi? How do you pronounce that? Q U A S I. No idea. Alright, I'm gonna go for a Surf. Uh, I, I do have Toxic on Nami. Or Ar Ar Artemis, my bad. I'm doofing up the names. <laughs> I'm doofing up the names like an old grandparent who can't remember all the grand. Oh, he's gonna go for a roar and make a switch out. Okay. We're gonna. Oh, and he got ducks out. I mean, 7k. <laughs> ducks. What a. I, okay. Shh. Shh. Right, we're gonna go for a slash. Will o Wisp, he's gonna burn us so that's gonna make us take some fire damage and it's also gonna reduce her physical attack which I know like because I use physical attacks. Jeez that did not do much man I now I wish I went for the <laughs> whatchamacallit oof heat wave I wish I went for the toxic that really would have helped me alright our attack stat is now actually back to normal and a bit higher um, however, I don't think I can take more than two hits. So I'm gonna go for a slash. It's faster than us. Shoot. Shoot, this is problematic. This is big ol' problematic. Because I cannot switch out. And I cannot use items. Oh shoot, I cannot use items. Oh, we're actually the same speed. And we take turns. That's what happens when you have the same speed. Uh, you have a 50-50 chance of... But we're gonna faint. No! Ah! The fire got us. The burn. <sighs> Alright, well, we already sent out Artemis. We're just gonna keep Artemis out for whoever's next. Since he kind of just negated. Oh! Okay, it's Artemis versus not Artemis. <laughs> Insert Spider Man meme here. Alright, this time I'm gonna, I'm gonna be safe. I'm gonna go for the Toxic. It's gonna go for a Mega Horn. Jeez, that did a lot of damage. <laughs> what concerns me is Megahorn is a physical attack and, and Lapras are more special attackers. Alright, but we have this thing poisoned. Um, and I'm gonna go for a Thunderbolt. Which is actually what I used to defeat the Master Trainer for Lapras as well with the Toxic and Thunderbolt. Uh, I don't know if we're gonna survive a second Megahorn. Although, geez, the Lapras keeps looking back at us because we're like, yes, good job. No, don't die, please. If the heart thing would work as a focus sash right now, that would be amazing, please. 1 HP. 11 HP, that's even better. That's even better. Okay. Thunderbolt. And... The poison's not going to take it down this turn. Which means we're going to go down and it's going to go down. Geez, this is like a, the Metapod fight I did. <laughs> Oh, it's gonna hit us with an ice shard. No. Oh. Oh no, we fainted. I thought we had one HP left. Uh, but then the poison's gonna take it down. So there goes that one. His Lapras is down as well. Um. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna go with Air Jordan, Aerodactyl, against whatever he's gonna send out. Snorlax. Oh. Oh yeah. Or should I say, oh no, because Snorlax is extremely bulky and we're 10 levels lower than it. Uh, uh, Rock Slide. Let's go for a 
Rock Slide, and he avoided the attack, and is gonna use Body Slam. Not very effective, but it paralyzed us. Really wow. Alright, what does Crunch do? I've never used the Y feature during battle. It can lower the target's defense stat. Alright, let, let, let's go for that. He's gonna go for a Protect. This is gonna be like a super long, stally battle, isn't it? This is what game this Snorlax wants to play. I'm gonna go for Crunch and hope... Jeez, that did nothing! Uh, hope I can lower its defenses. Yeah, if that did nothing, none of the other attacks are gonna do much either. Alright, it's just gonna take turns protecting and then attacking. Uh, which is annoying. It means this is gonna take a while, <laughs> that's what that means. Alright, so I'm gonna go for a crunch, it's gonna go for an attack. Uh, and then next turn, I'm gonna go for a fly. I know he's gonna go for protect. And now we're in the red. Okay. Uh, looks like Billy's gonna have to fight this Snorlax off. I'm surprised Red actually starts out with his Pikachu and doesn't end off with the Pikachu. Because, like, you'd exp. Ah, and we were paralyzed. Great. We didn't even get to do damage to it. And there goes there, Jordan. And there goes another call! What the fool phone? Okay, it's done. Time to send out Billy. Time to send out Billy and hope Billy can defeat the Snorlax, otherwise we're in big trouble. Alright, I'm gonna go for a Moon Blast on the Snorlax. It is our strongest attack, and we're level 99, so- Oh gosh, that did like a quarter! They only did like a quarter damage. Alright, this thing has used Body Slam, Protect, and Toxic. I'm afraid it's gonna go for a rest when we're close to taking it down and then we're gonna get big time KO'd by the poison. Alright, still doing the protect turn, which makes the poison even worse because it doubles. Basically what poison does is it, it, it starts out doing 1 16th damage, but then it doubles, so then it's 2 16th, and then it's 4 16th, and then it's 8 16th. So I think it takes like four or five turns for no. There, there goes the rest. There's the dang it. Oh no! Oh no! Oh, okay. Yes, finally. Thank you. The heart, Billy's love, has helped us win so much. This, this love feature, I absolutely am liking. Because in situations like this, where you cannot use items, which again, the game intentionally restricts you from being able to use items. In situations like this, is when you benefit the most from this seemingly random ability. Like being able to randomly survive or just randomly cure yourself of whatever's going on. Alright, we managed to lower its special attack, but its only attack is body slam. Everything else is just defensive and stalling. Although I assume if it wakes up, it's just gonna go for another rest, which would be annoying. Oh no, it's gonna go for another Toxic, okay. So this leaves us with a Poison Billy, and unless this Magic- Magic Carp. I can't Snorlax a Magic Carp, guys. <laughs> unless this Snorlax magically- <laughs> there you go, that's what I mean. Magically uses rest first, which ain't gonna happen, not on my watch. Uh, we should be able to knock it out with the next Moon Blast because it used Protect. Shoot. Okay. Alright, there, you, there goes the Moon Blast. Cops go versus Red. Technically, I'm dressed in blue, so does that make it a blue versus red kind of situation? Or a Cops go versus red kind of situation? I don't know, but Billy's taking a lot of damage. And he's gonna send out Venusaur. We saw that blue has a Charizard and the green got a Blastoise and we're gonna send out Brebstick or Pinsir that we're gonna Mega Evolve. We haven't seen Mega Evolution yet because I don't have any of the starters. And not only we're gonna see Mega Evolution for our Pokemon, we're gonna see Mega Evolution for the other Pokemon too. And I'm just gonna go for the X Scissor. Oh, oh look at that pensive. Alright, alright, let's, let's go. Alright, he's gonna Mega Evolve first. He's gonna get a mega bulky sore because it wasn't bulky enough as it was, and we're gonna get a mega pincer. 
Now the cool thing is pincers is a grass that- Oh, oh, that looks- Mmm. Mmm. Satisfying. Uh, pincer gains a flying type as well. Which is gonna make us very strong against this Venusaur. Even though we don't have any flying type moves because they got rid of its ability. <laughs> However, geez, dude. Okay. Is it gonna try to counter us at all? No, it's just gonna leech seed. So this this would have been a battle where it just relies on its bulk. It is bulky. We've hit it with three super effective moves and it has not uh, fainted at all. Like we... Oh gosh, okay. Leech seed did a lot. It just looks like it did a lot. So this X scissor isn't gonna knock it out. Um, it's gonna go for a sludge bomb, which means if... Oh gosh, wow, what the floops? That was a lot. I say what the floop a lot, don't I? That was a lot of damage. That was... <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, okay. Red red is indeed a challenge, as you guys can see. Uh oh jeez. Jeez, are we gonna get the knock it out with the X scissor? I should have gone for a sword dance. I might regret this. Okay, okay, we got the knockout. We got the knockout. <laughs> if not we had a very poisoned Billy that could have finished it off for us. And red looks defeated. He's not gonna say anything to us. He seems a little surprised. And we have earned the title of Battlemaster. And that is what you get from defeating Red. He opened his mouth to say dots, and then he went on his own way. And there you have it. Let's let's actually come to a nice spot where you can see us. And there you have it. We have defeated Trainer Red. We have defeated every flippin' trainer there is to flippin' the floop defeat in this entire region. Not really, there's all the master trainers I haven't beaten yet. Uh, but that is just post-game grind, they're very tough to beat. You have to do a whole lot of chaining and blah 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 blah. Doesn't matter. We have completed all the story-related stuff in this game, and I think that's all I'm gonna cover on it. So, instead of just standing still, let's take a little walk. Uh, thank you guys for watching, I really hope you enjoyed this series. Uh, I definitely had more fun playing through this game the second time. So hopefully if you haven't gotten this game yet and you... You just watch the series and you're like, hmm, maybe I should play this game. You might enjoy it after you've seen somebody play through the first time. Because honestly, the first time I played through, I was like, yeah, this is like, Eevee's overpowered. Blah, blah, blah. I got other Pokemon. La, la, la. It just seemed very easy. But then I was like, oh, let's try a little challenge. And I'm glad I did. I, I had a lot of fun doing this. Uh, I enjoyed it. I hope you guys enjoyed watching it. I don't know if I'm going to keep doing playthroughs just because they're not doing well on this channel. So I really appreciate all of you. Whoever has clicked throughout the entire series and watched everything. Thank you so much for watching. I really, really appreciate it. And I'll probably do a couple of Pokemon streams where we can battle. We'll do that. But as far as this game, that's, that's all I'm going to cover with this Let's Play. So I hope you guys have enjoyed. Thank you for watching. And I would say I'll see you next time, but I'll just see you in the next Vasco video because there isn't going to be a next time for this series. Thank you guys for watching and have a wonderful day.